Everybody. Kevin made me a really good breakfast this morning. I'm having two eggs, sunny side up, and two leftover pieces of chicken from Sarah's dinner last night. And I'm still logging everything on my fitness pal. And I'm supposed to have 1,200 calories a day. And my breakfast was 255 calories. So that leaves me 945 calories. Yay! But I think I figured something out last night. <laughs> well, hello, Boomer. Was I in your way, Boomer? Was I in your way? You just had to knock the camera. <laughs> um, I think I figured something out. I've been feeling better. Not great. But the last few days, I haven't been having any of my tomato soup. Last night I had a bowl of tomato soup, and I am suffering this morning. I am hurting everywhere. My back hurts. I, I asked Kevin, did I lift anything heavy or move anything, or did I fall yesterday? Anything. Because I'm in a lot of pain today, and I'm wondering if it's the tomato soup. Attack of the killer tomato soup. <laughs> yeah. Good. You can't have any. That's you my breakfast. You can't have any. My breakfast. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> no. <sighs> so what are you going to be doing today, darling? Not sure. <laughs> Keeping the food away from Boomer. Uh, my guard cat. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do today yet, whether I'm just going to relax since it's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday, everybody. Oh, I forgot that, yeah. <clears throat> or I still have, there's plenty of stuff to do around here to uh, get this house organized and looking good. Right, Boomy? Boomy's eyes look pretty good today. A little discolored, but at least the pupils are the same size. Yeah, and you're going to fall. I know. I'm over here. You're over there. We can come over this way. You see this? How this works? You come down here. No? No? <laughs> Let me walk are you on your walk arm. On my arm. Okay, come here, buddy. <laughs> You just come over here. Oh. How's that? <laughs> He's a crazy cat. Yep. So. Hi. Good morning, neighbors. Good morning. All right, so today I'm going to do a little testing on the floor in the dining room. It, it has that black um, adhesive from, it's a pre-70s adhesive. And I don't want to try and take it up because it's going to cause all kinds of issues. It could have asbestos in it. And if I uh, try to get it up, then I'll have issues trying to get rid of it. So I'm going to test this, my acrylic tile adhesive that I have now. I'm going to clean a spot and I'm going to test put a little of this adhesive down and put some on the on the bare concrete as well to, uh, to just to see if they're sticking about the same uh, and if they are then I'm just going to go right over it give that a try today and uh, I'll give that about 24 hours to to set and then I'll try and take it up see what happens so as you can see, which you've been probably seeing for all this time, I have uh, this black glue on this side. 
And on this side, it's pretty much clear, especially right here. There used to be an island over it, so there's never been any glue on top of it. So I'm going to clean a spot um, probably underneath the cabinet here so that the uh, critters can't get to it. And then I'll just block it so no one can get to it and um, test my right, adhesive. So here is my adhesive and I'm just going to take a dab of it. I need even less than that. And just put this back away. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it on the floor. So I've cleaned the spot over here. Uh, and I'm just going to put a little bit of it here. And I do not need your help. And I put a little, cleaned the spot over here where the black tar is. And I'm going to let that sit for 24 hours. He was sitting there quite nicely, but... <laughs> so it's been a pretty lazy day today. It's Easter Sunday. Mom stopped by to say hi. Um, not a lot of things going on. Val's not feeling well again. She's been in bed all day. I spent today mostly um, cleaning up, doing dishes, uh, cleaning in the garage a little bit more. Uh, so right now I'm going to go see if there's a store open. I know it's a really bad time to try to find a store open Easter Sunday, but we really don't have anything in the house to eat. So I'm going to pick up a couple of cooked chickens if that is actually available. I got a funny feeling it's not. Um, otherwise, it looks like I'm gonna be cooking today. Jeez. They are very, very happy right now. Are they? They are very full energy right now. I just wanna point out to everybody, this is the type of weather I like. I'm going inside. <laughs> but oh. it's such a pretty nice. Look at the clouds over that way. Between the post, the telephone pole and the fence there. Don't they look pretty? I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Yeah. I think they look pretty over there. Hello! Hello, everybody! Happy Easter! Happy Easter to you! Yep. 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 It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. We only have a little itty bitty bit to do today. Selena G. Love, 487, also known as Brian. Welcome back. Glad you're playing catch up. We sure as heck missed you. And that's the only shout out I have. Really? Really. Alright. Really. Really. Really, really. 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 Okay, and my question yesterday was, which fictional horror character were you most afraid of? Okay, and we had Candyman. We had several Chuckies. We had a couple of Freddies. Jason, Hannibal Lecter, Reagan from The Exorcist, and Clowns. Okay. Okay. 
couple of things here. First of all, Chucky, he's a doll. Drop kick him! Man, yeah, well, how can you be afraid of a doll? Drop kick him! Put him in the trash can. Okay. <laughs> um. Clowns? Uh, clowns scare me. We had a clown theme. Clown. We had a clown theme Halloween party, and some people actually wouldn't come. Yeah. But personally, I don't see what the big deal is about clowns. But okay, Candyman. I just never that that movie never really even phased me. I don't know why. That's it's kind of an old movie. I don't know why. But I I will tell you if I saw someone walking down the street with knives as fingernails. Yeah, I think I'd be a little afraid. Uh, if Can I, Candyman was the scariest thing about Candyman was that it was filmed in the projects in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's scary. If I saw um, a girl projectile vomiting split pea soup, yeah, I'd be a little afraid of that. Anderson's. <laughs> yes. And and turning her head around 360 degrees. Yeah, I think I'd be a little afraid of that. But there are cannibals out there. And Hannibal Lecter was a cannibal. So yes, if I saw a real life cannibal, heck yeah, I'd be afraid of that. So which fictional character would you be afraid of? I, I can't re I can't even think of um, one that really scared me. I think the things that scare me in movies and fiction are the ones you can't see. Which is why I always like the original Haunting, because the, you never actually see anything. It's all in your imagination. You just hear all these noises. Just your imagination is scarier than... Yeah. But I mean, if you saw somebody walking down the street with knives as fingernails... That wouldn't scare you? Uh, At least make you turn and walk the other way. Yeah. Well, anybody with a weapon, I'd say I'd be unhappy to be seeing. <laughs> so, my question for tonight. I, I, I got to word it a little strange here. Have you ever been bungee jumping or skydiving? If not, what has been your biggest... Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush adventure along those lines. If you have not had one, what would you like to do for that adrenal, adrenaline rush adventure? Drive with my wife. Drive. I'm a, I, well, when I drove, I was a good driver. Yes, dear. Right, Kaya? <laughs> so, everybody... It's time for... Can I have my book? Go ahead, finish. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh. Credit hop, hop, hop. Okay, so um, it was pointed out to me that I had the, the lineup wrong yesterday, and I'm going to have to blame uh, YouTube for that. It just happens to me quite often, and for some reason it happens to uh, Tanya Longley all the time, that I would, would go through the list and see who answered the question and when they answered the question, and Tanya is not there, and um, it shows up the next day. I don't know what's up with that. I know she's pointed out that she seems to, uh, her comments tend to disappear on her as well. Okay, well, Ta Tanya was actually first yesterday, and last night's question was, um, 1984, Nightmare on Elm Street, how did Johnny Depp land that role? It was his very first movie, and the uh, answer is, he, um, he was actually friends with Nicolas Cage, who told him that to, he thinks he should be, uh, try acting. And he also was good friends with Jackie Earl Haley, who uh, my, my, the only role I remember him from is uh, the Bad News Bears. He was the, uh, the bad boy in the Bad News Bears. Um, and so he went to, uh, to read for the part with Wes Craven. And um, Wes Craven saw Johnny Depp and, just, and asked him to 
to read for it. And, and um, so that was his first role, and Wes Craven picked him, and the rest is history for Johnny Depp. Uh, but uh, Jackie Haley did manage to get the last laugh because he ended up playing Freddy Krueger in the remake some 26 years later. Okay? And those who got this right was uh, Terry Johnson was number first, number two was Bubba the Love Sponge, three Greg Myers, four Bambi S, and five Tanya Longley. And tonight I have a simple one today. The movie Frighteners from 1996 had uh, Michael J. Fox in it. Um, it was filmed in a place you probably weren't expecting it to be filmed at. Where was it filmed? I don't know. Oh, no. Are you making fun of me? No, dear. What do you think? There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We'd probably be over there. you all very very much thumbs up make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff and we will see you all tomorrow <coughs> here comes peter cotton tail hopping down the bunny trail hippity hoppity easter's on its way it's not on its way easter's almost over